I will be showing you how I prepare my skin for makeup application in just 4 quick and complicated steps and by only using lightweight, gentle, yet effective skincare products. Just for reference guys, your girl hair has a combination skin type. So I'm a bit oily on my T-zone and my jaw and lip area tends to be dry. I also have sensitive skin so rest assured that all the products that I will be using are gentle and sensitive skin friendly. Just like how important a clean canvas to a painter is in order to start this masterpiece, a well-prepped and nourished skin is likewise important because the better your skin looks to begin with, the better your makeup will look. What I love using is a Cosrx Low pH Good Morning Gel Cleanser to cleanse my face. From the name itself, this cleanser in gel form has a low pH level of only 5.0, meaning it is gentle enough not to strip off the skin's natural oils and most of its moisture. This is the same reason why I am not going to use a toner anymore. One of its botanical ingredients includes tea tree oil which is known in preventing and treating acne. And did you know that it also helps in getting rid of warts? Yes, it does because it contains antiviral and antiseptic properties that fights the virus causing warts. Right after cleansing, what I do next is apply lip balm. This ultra-conditioning, hypoallergenic lip balm from Burt's Bees prevents my lips from chapping, making any lip product to glide on smoothly on my lips. A moisturizer to be applied under makeup should be lightweight and easily absorbed by the skin. This aqua moisturizer from Eye White has a water-based formula that provides deep hydration. As you can tell, the consistency of this product is very light and easy to blend. It is just like water splashed on the skin. It contains natural active ingredients that helps prevent premature aging, protect the skin from cellular damage, and maintain its firmness. Remember, a well-hydrated face is one of the keys in achieving a plump and glowing skin that turns into a perfect makeup base. The final step, I told you, this prep time is just quick and easy. Anyway, to all my girls out there, never, as in never, go outdoors without a sunscreen on. This is one of the golden rules of skincare. This is because I can't tell you enough how the sun's UV rays can damage and age our skin. Now, usually, sunblocks or sunscreens are thick and heavy and sometimes makes your face unnaturally white. But don't fret. This sunscreen from Biore is super lightweight and as in barely there. It is the Biore UV Perfect Bright Milk Sunscreen with SPF of 50 PA++. I use this product every day underneath my makeup or without makeup on. A little goes a long way and I like that it also provides a priming effect that blurs out my pores. Now here's a tip guys. Whenever I have a special event to attend to, the night before I put on sheet mask and I prefer those with brightening and moisturizing effect um, like this sheet mask. So that the next day when I apply makeup, my face will look extra radiant and glow. So that is it guys, my skin is all prepped and ready for makeup. Thank you for